you know, uh, basically it looks like probably no more not a spring chick with old cam because of uh, well, company is getting ready to go different ways, unfortunately. But we shall see. Um, Sikorsky and Cameron held in Libya's force as as the inner Sarta. Well, the problem is, is that um, the those people have money to make out of. They do business with Libya, so they don't care who they do business with as long as they get the oil. Uh, basically, UBS two billion dollar road target suspect held. Trade person expect to uh, we will trade get UBS two billion rogue trader suspect held in London. Well, I first of all nobody can simply push a button and trade that kind of money without somebody above them knowing it. I mean, somebody above it has to approve the stuff, folks. Just some guy doesn't going to think, I think I want to trade a billion dollars here, a billion dollars there. Plus the fact if he'd have been successful nobody would have ever said anything. He just got caught. Morgan Stanley Chairman Mack to retire at the end of the year. Well, because Obama basically has decided to go on a rampage against every business in this nation to teach businesses you don't do business under my under my watch. He's um and uh, Geithner to discuss leveraging EU bailout funds. Well, the problem comes is he basically we're going to use American money to bail out Europe when. It, it, uh, he's not he's making the suggestions. Well, what you need to do is the, the problem is you're not taxing the wealthy enough and you're not spending enough money, and that will solve all the economic problems. Every country in the world is cutting spending except the United States. We just keep going gung ho, you know, another $450 billion here, and going to raise another, wants to raise a trillion and a half dollars in taxes to continue spending, wants to supply money to every state in the country to make certain that the union people continue to work. Uh, so, um, let's see, um, U.S. nest thousands in offshore tax dodge crackdown. Well, they got, why in the world would 500,000 people want to give up almost everything they have? I mean, that's something funny about that. You have to remember that the Internal Revenue Service can say anything they want to say, and who's going to doubt them? Uh, Gaddafi calls on you in to protect his hometown from NATO because Na basically this is a NATO war. It has nothing to do with the, the Muslim forces. NATO supplying the armament, NATO supplying the heavy air corps, NATO supplying this, NATO supplying that, and Obama is paying for all of it, folks. Uh, okay, Obama is proposing a buffet tax on millionaires. First of all, folks, that that a per, put it this way: a person making ten thousand dollars. Put it make it in simple terms: a person making ten thousand dollars might pay uh, fifteen hundred dollars in taxes. A person making a million dollars is going to pay fifteen thousand dollars in taxes. Fifteen hundred, fifteen thousand. They said, "Well, the people that are making a million dollars, they can afford it." Well, if your company's losing money hand over fist, you can't afford it. You know, uh, there's a there's a difference between making money and having money. <clears throat> and the fact to also by now everyone in the universe knows Obama's idea of a millionaire is a person who makes two hundred thousand dollars, or a family that makes two fifty. That's Obama's idea. What he wants to do is to increase the tax rate is going up. They said on on, on individuals up to forty four and corporations forty four percent in two thirteen. He wants to make that now sixty six percent. You know, he wants to basically he wants to destroy all businesses. The average tax rate for business in the world is 25 percent. So you don't think that he's screwing people? But uh, you know, it, it's all a class warfare. It's it's uh, you know, white black versus white, poor versus wealthy. And it won't work because Obama can't get money to run on a thing that he wants to take everybody's money from him. I mean, so he certainly appeals to his base on the extreme left. But the middle class is where the money is, and there's a lot of those two hundred thousand dollar people over there that got to really get kicked. Um, you financiers take stock of progress in the debt crisis. Well, actually, there is little and none. It looks like Greece is going to default no matter what. Uh, debt toll from Nevada air crash raises to nine, and it looks like they're probably that's the end of the Reno air races because of. Um, they're too close to what's going on, and if something goes wrong, you have a disaster like what happened. 
here we got thing on the crisis. Greek PM cancel U.S. trip to the debt crisis. Why? Because they've defaulted twice, folks. They're getting ready to default for a third time, and there's nothing on earth that can stop it because they're a socialist government, and they have to pay people out medium and basically control the country in a socialist world. Um, living forces battle losing rifts on Gaddafi's towns. Well. They'll, they'll get them, they'll eventually win because the NATO forces are far better supplied. And, uh, you know, it's just a, a war of attrition. But the problem is, if Gaddafi has left the country with a military fighting force, he's going to cause havoc in Libya for years to come. Uh, here's a good U.S. links Pakistan a group it blames for Kabul attack. Well, yeah. I mean, because they support Muslims, they support the, the Muslims, folks. They're left, they're extremist Muslims, and that's what's going to happen. SEC to seek justice review and Madoff case. Uh, okay, basically, you can't find you, you 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 can't change the guilty decision to more guilty. It doesn't work like that way. Um, we have a former Senator Charles Pierce Percy, a liberal Republican, dies. Well, the problem is a liberal Republican is nothing more than a liberal Democrat. So you might, and what's so funny is Percy lost his liberal Republican seat to a liberal Democrat. So that's sort of the ridiculous thing. Uh, GM and UAW have reached first labor deal since bankruptcy. A labor deal that's not good for the company, not good for the country, but good for the unions. And uh, isn't that amazing? That would be a favor, a pro-union job. They would, um, um, the UFI ministers to break new, no new ground on debt crisis because they don't have, look, they can't raise taxes any more than what they've already been raised. You, you, <clears throat> you have a problem with stopping spending because the countries are all heavily unionized. So you've got problems, folks. I love this. Justin Ginsburg slides to safety on airplane. Everybody keeps doing that one because it, I think it would be funny to see the Justice Ginsburg sliding down one of the posts. But, um, uh, we got a New York City TV meteorologist who missed a false attack thing. Nobody knows why she did it. I mean, not like she needed to PR, but it's, um, new, Mary, new, uh, Maria Schreiber gets the cover of Los Angeles Mag for writing a story. Well, she's a reporter. She used to write stories all the time. She's a journalist. I mean, but they're trying to make it like it is something totally unbelievable. Um, she's got three point appeals to Yahoo founder Jerry Yang for change. Well, they, they need to get rid of some more members of the board of directors and they need to basically start diversifying more because what's happening is is the company is very weakened and um, basically because of mistakes made Google become a powerhouse when they should have been running the show. Oh, another example of the Obama administration, Easy Bake loses, loses his ball with 100 watt phase out. Uh, phase out. Uh, well, the, uh, the problem comes is they said that the um, you can't easy bake oven no longer works with Obama's iridescent bulbs because you can't get the bloody light out of it. There's no heat from them. You can't get the light out of them you had from a regular bulb. I mean, the try shaving in front of an iridescent bulb it just isn't done, folks. Uh, U.S. veterans said betrayed him by forcing a German wife to leave. Well, that does happen, folks. I mean, I know uh, Americans that married. Um, women after World War II and they had one hell of a problem with their wives going to this country. Basically, uh, future NASA are probably the most powerful ever built. Well, yeah, but it's not likely to get built because Obama doesn't believe in space travel. You know, it's, there's nothing more than like a Saturn with a couple of boosters pumped on it anyway. It's a, it's a for show thing that they know that will never happen under this president. Um, uh, and I got this one. Luxury retailer and just a solid gold floor and sixty thousand dollar price tag. Is it likely to sell any? No, but it's just a PR gimmick is all. Uh, basically, the White House party crash really said uh, they're getting a divorce now. I said the Journey guitarist broke up his marriage. I, I like that. Don't be no excuses. But um, uh, we have a, a Monty Butler and Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Often doing what you're uh, told not to do pays off. <laughs>